With 47 constituencies in the Ashanti region, the MPP occupied 44 while the National Democratic Congress had three in 2016. Although the MPP launched an ambitious target of winning all the 47 seats ahead of the 2020 general elections, their strategy did not work for them as they were not able to win all 44 seats they had. The party lost the Fomena seat to dismissed Member of Parliament Andrew Amakwe Siama who ran as an independent candidate. Also, the MPP lost the new Edibiasi seat they won for the first time in 2016. The new Edibiasi seat until 2016 was one of the safe seats for the NDC in the Ashanti region. The MPP's George Boahen Udru, who won the seat in 2016, was not able to retain it. The NDC launched a strategic comeback which led them to winning the seat back in the 2020 general election. Some constituents have been speaking to City News on why they decided to retain the seat to the NDC. Say, and <laughs> And I'm there for four years, sir. And put to say, and in the Jurassic Chedumasi constituency, for instance, the municipal chief executive for the area, Salis Bamba, who took the seat from the NDC for the first time in 2012, was hoping to launch a successful comeback after losing the 2016 election. He lost again in the 2020 general election to the incumbent NDC MP, Mohamed Bawa Braima. In the Aswasi constituency, in 2016, the New Patriotic Party put up a very good performance as they were able to close the gap. They lost with just a little over 6,000 votes to the NDC's Muntaka Mubarak. They launched a comeback banking their hopes on their parliamentary candidate's position as an MC for the area and his performance within the period he has been in office. That, however, did not go very well for them as they lost with over 20,000 votes in the 2020 general election. Surprisingly, some over 4,000 voters in the constituents who voted for President Ekufuad voted for the NDC parliamentary candidate. Some constituents in Aswasi constituency disclosed to City News some concerns they believe led to the loss of votes for the MPP in the just-ended general elections. From the people's point of view, others are saying that because of what the party, regional party or regional executive did to the one who wanted to contest it, Mr. Ali, who happened to be Manaf, they let Alidu went unopposed. And some people have the feel that they didn't do things right. And secondly, the executive of, Sawas of Asawasi constituency too didn't help. Why did I say so? It is time for election. You have to put things aside, come together, fight, the, fight for the position. But they couldn't do that. They have some executives who support the PC and others who are supporting the 
or against the uh, PC. So it has resulted to this huge loss. So far, it's true. Ali Du and his team, there's some misunderstanding. So most of them didn't vote for him. Because when they need something from him, he didn't give up. So they use that and against him. That's what is happening. This seat for a long time belonged to NDC. So Honora Mubarak, mostly people love him because he respect, he help and all and all and all that. So people love him. Disappointment. if the sun and the juma city and while Punipa, where you be beer, but we buy a one yana or yam in this panel, which me friendly, several times crow on peck. Which me will ye be grand over it in our momma. And I always say, I feel yourself was a page and I was all more no woman of engineer and no one pin in one was cast out a buying. It's all my woman of the source of mouth on the song, would do our woman or no woman of no one pin in mouth and vote to more no boy lead. Eighteen am I dear Naya son, or can you say, I'm out for the Omodon, my sister said, I didn't say, or be on who say, I can so much on a woman of engineer. They want the executives of the MPP to rethink their decisions regarding the imposition of parliamentary candidates on constituents. I think is that they should unite, they should put their differences because the harm has been done already. You cannot revert it or reverse it. So they should come together do some amendment, let the party, party faithful come together, the executive should come together and work together for the victory to come in 2024. That will help. <laughs> For the NDC in Aswansi constituency, they believe their strategy worked for them. Mugis Madi is the constituency secretary for the NDC. Aswansi constituency has performed better than it has always performed in the previous election. And what I think did the magic for us is hard work, dedication, and the appreciative nature of the good people of Asawasi constituency. Asawasi constituency has seen tremendous achievement under the leadership of Honorable Muntaka and the, the NDC government. And since people vote for development before the election, I foresee them voting for Honorable Muntaka and His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. And currently, as I'm speaking with you, I don't foresee the MPP winning the seat of Asawasi constituency ever. Because Asawasi constituency, as I already said, the good people of Asawasi are very appreciative. They, 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 they are not easily carried away by sheer propaganda and lies. They know who, this, uh, who did this for them and they know who has been helping them throughout this political journey. So in short, we were dedicated to our work. Our men were focused. Uh, we have a very, very, very strong and formidable team. And in all, 
uh, we, uh, glory be to God, we were able to sail too. Meanwhile, attempts to reach constituency executives of the NPP for their comments were unsuccessful. As the NPP is still bent on clinching the Asawasi seat, what will be their new strategy in the next general election? Reporting for City News from Asokori Mampon in Ashanti region, I am Fatih Amin Ibrahim.